And we're following breaking news this morning. The SpaceX Starship rocket launch has just been scrubbed. Let's bring in NBC News correspondent Tom Costello as well as Dr. Paul Sutter to discuss. Dr. Sutter is an astrophysicist and professor at the Institute for Advanced Computational Science at Stony Brook University. Good morning to both of you. That's right. So, Tom, I just want to start with you. What happened here? Talk to us about that. Obviously, this was a highly anticipated event today. Just happened moments ago, SpaceX announcing that they are now turning this into what they call a wet dress rehearsal, and that means exactly as the name would suggest. It is wet because they fuel the vehicle. It's now a dress rehearsal. Why? Because they've got a, a launch pressurization issue, specifically a valve that seems to be stuck. And as they were loading the cryopropellants, this became an issue. Elon Musk actually kind of uh, suggested this could happen. He, he suggested late last night or early this morning, you know, he said, we may have to pause. We may not go. It all depends on uh, a very, very complicated countdown process and a very complicated uh, rocket. That is Starship on the pad. It is the biggest, tallest, uh, most powerful rocket ever built. It stands 400 feet tall. That's taller than the Saturn V rocket that carried Apollo astronauts to the moon. It is uh, beautiful. It's that stainless steel that you see sitting there. Uh, and at the moment, it's not going anywhere. They plan to take this simply as a, a dress rehearsal right there on the Texas-Mexican border on the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we would point out that there are 33 engines on this rocket. So this is not something that is, you know, easy peasy with just a couple of rockets <laughs> on the bottom. Uh, and if they've got a valve issue, uh, they have got to stop the whole thing. I don't know yet when the second launch attempt will be. It could be tomorrow. We'll have to see what SpaceX says. But for, the, for now, this rocket which is a dress rehearsal, and it, had, it has no astronauts on board. This was an uncrewed test to fly around the Earth 90 minutes, then come down and splash into the ocean off Hawaii. Uh, this is going to hold for at least a day. Ultimately, guys, as you well know, we talked earlier, the plan is to use Starship to go to the moon and eventually on to Mars. And the biggest version of Starship, Elon Musk says, could carry up to 100 astronauts. So we'll see if that comes to fruition. But at the moment, we're going to pause. Back to you guys. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.